All right, folks. Um, I'd like to call this regular Region 12 <laughs> Board of Education meeting to order. It is four minutes after 10. I think this is the latest meeting we've ever commenced. Uh, Rebecca, can you take attendance, please? Anthony Amato. Here. Valerie Anderson. I'm still here. Alan Brown is not. Gregory Cava. Here. Rebecca Devine is here. Michelle Gora. Here. Emily Hibbert. Here. James Hirschfeld. Here. Jennifer Cody. Here. Michael Sinatra. Here. Peter Tagman. Here. All right, and we still have the Roxbury vacancy, so everyone is here except Alan Brown. Item two, opportunity for the public to comment on agenda items. Is there anyone who wishes to address us? No. Item three, consent agenda, which is the approval of the minutes of our September 21, 2015 meeting. Uh, meeting. Is there anyone who wants to remove any item from the consent agenda? No. So the consent agenda is approved. Thank you. Report of the chair. Nothing to add after tonight except to thank the staff and board members, as I've said before, who have worked, put countless hours into this presentation tonight. I thought it went very well, and I really just want to thank everyone for all their effort, Pat and your staff and the board members who, who've worked so hard on this. Uh, superintendent's report, Dr. Cosentino. Yes, anything? I'm down here today, and I have a microphone, so watch out. <laughs> I don't have any correspondence. Andrew. We do have an appointment of Joanna Murphy as Secretary at Chapag. I do have the October 1st enrollment numbers. I'll just give you a couple of highlights. Um, uh, Mr. Prada has projected 714. We currently have 728 students. Uh, we are 14 over, uh, but... <laughs> 41 of them are non-resident students. So that makes us go to residents of 687. We have 11 staff members who have students. We have 21 Sherman. We have four students from New Milford. And we have five others. So yes, paying tuition. So we have 687 plus which brings us to um, 728 students at this point. Um, we didn't have a chance to send this, but we can certainly email this to you tomorrow. Yeah. Jen, you have a question? I can tell you that. I think so. Let me see. Okay, in October 1st, 2014, we had a total of um, 747 students. Uh, we had nine tuition and 20 Sherman. So 747 um, from 728. So what is that? Uh, 19 students less. Uh, last year with 29, yes. The staff is at 11 now. The staff really feels that it's a benefit, and we are getting them to bring in their, their children. They really do appreciate that. Yeah, it's given us 41 students, which is 41 students we wouldn't have had in the past. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. All right. Moving on to committee reports. Nobody's required to give a committee report if they don't wish to. AgriScience Steering. Mr. Amato, anything? I just want to thank everybody for the effort in putting the data behind the slides. Uh, so there were at least uh, garage of discussion and discussion and discussion that went on. I think there's not really enough, but uh, I think it shows and, and uh, that's not the case. Now everybody has a good job. Yeah, and to Anthony, especially a uh, tremendous amount of work. Uh, thank you, Anthony, very much. And I heard several comments tonight that the presentation was uh, very well done, very professionally presented, so very polished. So thank you. Any questions for Anthony? All right, uh, education, Michelle, anything? Um, no. Education connection, we still don't have a chair. If anybody is interested in that, please see me. Facilities, Mr. Cobb, anything? 
No, I just want to thank Mr. O'Leary for all the help that he has been, our staff member, uh, to facilities, especially in preparing for this hearing. And I want to say to my fellow board members, I have never been as proud of you as I was tonight. Oh, thank you very much. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> all right, thank you, Greg. Finance, Jesse, Valerie, anything? Over here. Nice. Finance committee, Valerie, anything? I'm sorry. Do you have a report? I do. Uh, I'm sorry to bore you, but this is kind of important. Um, you, oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? We can always hear okay. you. Um, <laughs> I may have touched something. Yeah, she, she turned me off. We went through the preliminary uh, year end. Hello. We went through the preliminary uh, closing results of June 30th, and I'm happy to report that after our 1% allocation, after pool work, after encumbered work for the mall, after large expenditures on preparing all the documentation for this upcoming referendum and the plans, we have $26,036 in the black year end, or 0.1%. And Bob is a master at keeping it pretty, pretty skinny, but always in the black. So uh, very pleased with that, particularly since we were able to cover a lot of expenditures uh, before year end. And we also reviewed the sept September 24th results, obviously very early in the budget year uh, with a remaining black balance of 2.8 million. And then we did a reconciliation of the 1% fund and the elementary school fund and if you bear with me, we have now an available undesignated balance in the 1% capital fund with uh, projects uh, encumbered against of $472,413. Uh, and the, one, the elementary school has a whopping balance after encumbered work not necessarily finished, but work that's ongoing and, and monies are encumbered. We have a whopping balance in the elementary school of $150.83 until the, until the next allocation of 100000 And that is it. All right, thank you, Valerie. Is there any questions for Valerie? Anyone? All right, Valerie, thank you. Uh, Long-range planning, Mr. Brown is not here. Anyone on that committee have any? Thing to report. We have not met yet. All right. Negotiations, Mr. Cobb, anything pending? Nothing. Nothing pending. All right. And policies and bylaws, Michelle? We have met and we have a second reading on the agenda tonight. Okay. All right. Item seven on the agenda. To consider and act upon resolutions approving the submission to the voters of the district of a resolution with respect to an appropriation and borrowing authorization for costs related to design, construction, furnishing, equipping, and financing of AgriScience STEM Academy facilities to be located on the Chapaug Valley campus at 159 South Street in the town of Washington, and of renovation of the existing science wing at the Chapaug Valley School located on the Chapaug Valley campus, establishing the particulars of a district referendum with respect to such appropriation and borrowing authorization authorizing the preparation of explanatory materials with respect to such referendum and other matters related thereto. I would like to have a motion, if I could. So uh, moved. Can I, let me state the motion, please. Uh, <laughs> what I'd like, a motion waiving the reading of the resolutions and incorporating the same in the minutes. The resolutions are nearly five pages in length. We've checked with council. The, basically what the resolutions state is the date of the referendum, which is November 10, 2015, and the question which I presented tonight at the public hearing, which is the gross dollars being requested of $39,491,387 and a net figure of 11,000, excuse me, 11 million seven hundred fifty-one thousand nine twenty-one. So is there a motion to waive the reading of the resolutions and to incorporate the same into So moved. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? All right, it passes unanimously. Uh, so those resolutions 
uh, resolutions 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4 are approved by the Board of Education unanimously. All right. Item eight. No, 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 no. We the motion was to waive. Now we have to. Vote. Oh, I'm sorry. That was to waive. All right. So now those resolutions. I'm sorry. 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, and 7.4, as incorporated into the minutes, are before the board. Is there a motion? So to, moved. To approve them. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, is there any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Any abstain? All right, it passes unanimously. Thank you. All right, last item eight, second reading policy 5141.21, administering medication. Michelle? Um, and it's before you as a second reading. There's nothing, nothing has changed since the first reading. There's no um, suggestions. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve uh, policy 5141.21 for a second reading. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Passes unanimously. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all very much.